Let's fight this. Uh oh. Bastard. You got him, Cotton. You got him. He also sounds kind of angry. So you can totally <laughs> skip this warden. Chris, that then... turret is spazzing oh. out right now. <laughs> it, doesn't, it didn't expect me to be right there. Our duty is to protect humanity. Whatever the cost. Spartans to Mission Debriefs 20 for 20. We've played every Halo mission, and now we're going to rank the 20 best for the 20th anniversary of the franchise. I'm your host, Colin Perkins, and I'm joined by David Arnold. Hello, everybody. Matt Salvatore. Ahoy, ahoy, how we doing? And Krista Brown. Where's the Master Chief? I want to play as <laughs> Master Chief. Not in this game. No, he's gone now. Yeah, yeah. We found the truth written out of the story. The truth was haunted. It's not true. Right. Oh man. This episode we are playing <coughs> Genesis. This is the 20th mission on our list. We made it. Yay! And it's the, <laughs> the 13th mission from Halo 5. There's a lot of missions in Halo 5. Not all of them are playable. Mission. Well, I guess. <laughs> not all, all, all of them are actual shooty shooty you don't gun all mission. Actively <laughs> shoot shoot stuff. Yes, exactly. Which was good no, your first statement was right. Not all of them are playable. <laughs> <laughs> well, we should have picked that, that one as one of our favorites. We're like, oh, let's go talk yeah, to yeah. Halsey. Yay. Mission over. How do we think? What do we think of the gameplay, Zero? There was no game. Yeah, we got a bit of poetry, maybe a bit of polymer love, yeah. love poetry. Oh, the grunt. The grunt. Story yeah, 10. Yeah, right. that's the story 10. 10 for the poetry. Yeah. Gameplay Honestly, zero. Yeah. There was no gameplay. So so I'll talk about it now. We're, we are going to, so we were playing Genesis. This is what our community voted for um, in terms of what what mission from Halo 5 is going to make it. There's a couple of others that made the list and are kind of close in votes. At the end of the episode, I, I do want to have a discussion about the other missions in Halo 5. After the we play ones, this, yeah. and we'll rank this one. Well, we'll see. <laughs> but I, I, we'll play this, we'll rank it, and then I want to have a little conversation at the very end of the episode just to talk about what else Halo 5 has to offer. So um, on the last mission, if you missed it, we played through Composer from Halo 4. So we played two missions in Halo 4, Infinity and Composer. Uh, definitely check those out if you missed it. For the full list of 20, check out our website, halopodcast.com slash 20 for 20. While you're there, check out all the goodies we have on the website, including our other shows, lore pages, articles, and more. If you enjoy this series, let us know by uh, commenting on the video, giving us a like, or subscribing. You can also support the show by visiting Podcast Evolved on Patreon. All right. Halo 5 Guardians. And I'm playing this time. What? You all get to four. play? Yay. I know. I have a controller. Colin does I'm play ready Halo. to go. It's official. I'm gonna probably be like Tanaka or um, Vale, but that's alright. Vale. Take it. Yeah, yeah, let's go. Let's do it. Drink the let's, let's do it. Pick your poison. Loading. Loading. Oh, Next this one is really loading. cool. I remember what we're about to do. When you run down the Guardian. That's, yeah, that's, that's, a that's pretty dope. That is yeah. A dope it's poggers, as the kids say. Or maybe they don't say. Well, and then select. Oh, I'll be locked then. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> oh, I thought they must have changed that because it definitely used to lock. I thought you Colin in. was. Oh, lock you in. Oh gosh. I, I picked Tanaka. The... Yeah, but I didn't think Colin would even get a choice. Yeah, party leaders don't get choices. But it Last did, it, time it, it, on yeah. Halo Five Guardians. You were on the Guardian. 
we mm -hmm. jumped on the Guardian. Palmer was there. Halsey was there. We uh, mag boots activate. Mag boots. Danger yeah. forces. Oh, sorry. Man, my favorite thing is just doing the smart lock as you jump. How beautiful and just it is. Fly. Oh. It's crazy. Oh, yeah. You can just fly. Holy cow. This is incredible. Oh, that's amazing. It's so cool because it's, it's, it's a little jarring because it is top down. Like you're looking straight yeah. at the planet. And you can fall off. Yeah, you can fall off and die, definitely. Yeah. You can also jump too high. <laughs> Oh, like, really? Uh, yeah, you can jump and uh, your like your mag boots don't kick in. It's a pretty rad start, start position. It's so good. I'm way back, so we'll see if it warps me up. Oh, I see you. Oh. Now I just feel like I'm Dwayne the Rock and Jason Statham as we run down a skyscraper. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Halo did it first. Whoa! Right. It did. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> Whoa, bye, Krista. Bye. I'm just falling down. Oh, okay. I like the armagers. The armagers were a great um, addition to the Prometheans. Yeah. Yeah. So much so that, like, I didn't realize. I forget if I'm not in Halo 4. Although. Ouchie. This is the part where we can fly, right? Oh, this is the part where we fall. This is where we become Iron Man. Make it your jetpacks. Right. Dun, 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 yeah. dun, dun. <laughs> hey, Hero landing. Dope. I don't know Vale's fingers had so much gold in them. A uh, yellow. Oh yeah? I have first time playing She's been eating say, Cheetos. This, uh, Must be. This game is perfect right now for me. I'm just, just throwing it out there right now. Like, <laughs> this mission's perfect? Like, yeah. It's just so smooth. Um, the connection, I mean. Oh, that's because I'm hosting. Yeah, uh, you know, must be. Wait, 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 Midwest internet. And here's the new it's best different. character in this game. Hello. Hey. Don't hit her. Sunshine. She's going to get mad. Ball. Look how big she is. She She's huge. Okay. Perfect. That's a grenade bomb. Uh oh, someone <laughs> just launched a grenade. <laughs> Ow. Bye. Ooh. I got the DMRs. Uh, I spawned with one. Which is weird. Oh yeah, she's yeah. really nice. She gives the best gifts. <laughs> oh, that's, Ooh, that's yeah. Funny. There we go. Oh, <laughs> scorpion! Wow. Anybody want to take it? I'm in the machine gun. Let's go. And Chris, did you want to drive? No, Chris, you're good. Have fun. Really? Yeah. All right. Okay. You getting on? Yes, yeah. baby. Oh look, you sit on the side stuff in this mission. Oh look, no, the portal I... to the domain. Oh wait, we're not supposed to know that. The portal to the domain. Ghost all the way. A beefy ghost. Oh, that it's one's a white shot. one. Yeah. That's got explodey bullets. Oh no, oh, that's not good. Oh wow. Another one. It's such a cool animation though. The Guardian design is very cool. And you see all the Covenant ships that got pulled in with it, just crashing. It's really mm -hmm. cool. I played this solo recently, and it was Jeez, that really was difficult. Right I wonder if it moment. scales. Uh, I absolutely killed you there, Matt, by the way. Oh, uh, that was you, okay. Yes, I I was I'm like, sorry. what the hell happened? It's okay. <laughs> I kind of Leroy Jenkins did. Oh, there's a on. Leroy. I tried stealing that the other day. It didn't work. Yeah. No. They were just like, no, you don't get to have nice things. We don't allow that. Oh, I, yeah. Rip they shot that with the plasma pistol and didn't want to. Didn't want to give it to me. Uh, I feel like I should be dead right now. That's actually done. Yeah, we've had some damage, huh? <laughs> yeah. Here we go. And you can take that shot. He just took that shot to the face. Uh oh. I'm dead. Uh, I am. Fast approaching death. Ah. Hey, you might want to bail. Never. It's a little rough. Yeah, it's a really rough. rough. Where are these knights? Well, I got a respawn countdown. 30 seconds? Yeah, it's pretty long. That's me. 
30 yeah, seconds is a long time. I'm gonna go pick up a mega. Eddie, he's up there. I'm dead. Shit. It's okay. Uh, stay there, stay there. I'll see you Nope, I died. Oh, buck. I didn't uh, that, can I still get your buck? No, there's no revive. No, you're real. That's right. Ugh. There goes my life. Yeah, gold corpse. fingers. So, like, yeah. Cheeto oh, now fingers. The turret went down. <laughs> I have to say, Clamber makes me love Halo 5. I know, uh, Clamber's the so best good. shit. Yeah, it's really the verticality so in these missions is unmatched for Halo. Yeah. Well, I was super happy to see Chief grab something in Infinite and hoist himself up. I'm like, yeah. He, he, he still knows how to use his hands! Yeah. <laughs> There's a Wraith He's here. He's not a T-Rex anymore! Ooh, Wraith. That could be interesting. He's not a T-Rex. Yeah, I don't remember that Wraith baby. You take it. Reborn into the physical world. That's no. You take it, Colin. You take it. Ultra. This thing's gonna die real fast, so I might as well just Ooh. keep it on. Rocket launcher. Yeah, there's some yes, dope weapons over there, if I remember correctly. Yeah, there's rocket. Yeah. Really, they only allow you to hold four rounds. Woo! Ow! I exploded. Yours. Um. You're a super soldier, are capable of great feats, but you can only hold yay many grenades. <laughs> <laughs> I have many, have many places pockets, I could put them. Yeah, I don't understand. Pockets. There we go. That needed to happen. Goodbye. That's why you need little pouches. Are those guys fighting? Oh, that's right. They do, yeah, they fight each other. Thanks. We need that. I am quite destructive. There's a thing over here. I want to learn about the... Uh, Bastion. Bastion. There's also a bunch of guns. Bastion. We didn't learn what Bastion was until recently. It was a big uh, one. yeah, it was Point of Light. Oh, man, they point out the light to you? Oh, fast. Yeah, he pointed out the light, yeah, but I didn't really good. like it. Oh, my God. You may want to hurry. Cortana is attempting to activate several high-level communications. Oh, Cortana. Man, I've been sinking shots into this dude. He is just sucking them up. You gotta do the weak oh point. Maybe they did scale it for their. Yeah. They can they absorb. Might have. Not the number of enemies. Man, he took like a billion hits there, but in there. I can't wait until we run into the warden. The first warden, you can skip, but we should fight him. Good being the operative one. Nah, I forgot the incendiary cannons have like a charge now. Oh, nice. Four, four rock fate on. Very four nice. rocket Done. rounds to take that fate on out. This is actually four pretty rockets. cool because I, I'm a wraith and I'm, I'm essentially what I'm supposed to be. It's just mortar fire. Like I'm behind you guys. You guys are up front. I'm just peppering people. <laughs> I'm salting people. Ow. Ooh, that guy took a full on plasma. Yeah. I'm requesting okay. assistance. I hate this mechanic. It's the worst mechanic, but thank you. It's, uh, it's really bad when, uh. Busy. That's wanted. Uh, it. I didn't hate it until I played this game on Legendary, and then I absolutely hated it. Yeah. Because the yeah, AI just dumb. never do it. Super dumb. Yeah, they just let you die. They can't path yes. to you, that's the problem. They, like, see you and they try to get there, but they just can't get there. Well, they don't They, they don't kill what's threatening you first. Yeah. Yeah, they, they just, just run, run up run to and you. Die. And then die. There's supposed to be a bridge! Let's make a bridge. Make them bridges. I can jump it. There you are. Oh, I can work bridges too, it seems. Most exciting. I always love energy bridges. Hurry, humans. The gateway is. Alright, let's fight this. Uh oh. Bastard. You got him, Cotton. Uh, you got him. He also sounds kinda angry. So you can totally <laughs> skip this warden. Chris, that then... turret is spazzing oh. out. Right <laughs> it doesn't. It didn't expect me to be right there. Uh oh! Uh oh! Oh, the light bridge fell. The light bridge. 
Oh, it's gone. Come. <laughs> it fell off it. What? <laughs> you took the tank with you? No, oh, come on. I, I had to get out of it here anyway. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Damn it. Uh, is the warden dead? Yeah, he died. He... Oh, God, how that happened? Oh uh, yeah, baby. Oh uh, yeah. What do you want? Yeah, in about over there. The answer, baby. Did you pick it up? I was going looking. Hell for yeah. <laughs> nice. Finders keepers. I think there might be another one. I think there is two on the in this mission. Yeah. There's one over here. There's one right here. Is there? Yeah. There's one on the other answer? other oh, side. Real gun right here. Who wants the, the rail answer. gun? There is only oh, one. The, oh. the answer. Bow, 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 bow. Bow, 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 bow. Hello, ma'am. Can I help you with something? Did she help us out with this fight? No, she just watches. Yeah. She just pull your. Oh no! Well, there's two of them now. It can't get any worse than this. We uh, just have the answer. Black hole. <laughs> I love, um, dude. The warden has the best, uh, the best. Oh my god, he uh, has he the best jabs. It's like you guys are suicidal and stupid. Oh, no, Thanks, uh, poggers. Oh my god, I hate the black ball. Stop. Black ball. What is that anyway? Uh, I don't know. Antimatter or some shit. Yeah, some Ow, dude, well. he keeps killing me. What the fuck? Oh shit, why is it Panaka. Oh, thank you. Uh -oh. Back up. I'm, I'm down. Where are you? Right in front. Oh, no, he got you. You know, I have to say the revive mechanic isn't as bad when you have people, like actual people. Actual, yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, Ooh, it like light. it makes sense. It's a little easier to work with. Whereas, oh, like, with the melting these nights. Nice. I am pushing up on the right. Oh my god. I feel like I have no health in this game. Yeah, it, it does feel like you dropped it. It does scale, fast. yeah, I just got wiped out. Oh, oh I'll pick me up. Just punch me in the face. And I don't know what the grenade This dude isn't I, I ruling thought... anyone, anything. What is he talking about? He's like a. He's like almost a slave. Yeah, oh. that's true. Matt, we gotta run. Is there two of them out there? Yeah. He's down. He's, He's close. Down. Yeah. Down. He... I do like the enemy. Ah, He's chasing me! He gets sucked into the little portable. portal. <laughs> Stop! Yeah, it's awesome, isn't it? Stop chasing me! Oh. Like, God, he does not like me. Colin, I'm gonna get lead him towards you, okay? You, you fight him. I got the real gun. Okay. <laughs> Alright, I'll get behind him. I got the answer. Uh, I got one. Where's the other? There we go. Team <laughs> hell yeah. You got him? Nice. Yeah. Ooh, I hell. answered him to death. The correct choice. It is. It's the only way to play this game. This is the way. I love playing Super Fiesta because the one person who has the answer just dominates the entire field. It's hilarious. There's no better feeling than picking up the answer. Spawning with it, Especially you're like, oh, a tough shit. question. All right, so we oh, fought yes. two wardens. It can't get worse than that, right? True. True. This game would never. And it never. Worse. Hey, I know those guys. Please. They hey, look didn't familiar. We fight a little bit ago. She's dangerous. Are we friends? Look familiar. Can we be friends? You don't have to do this alone. Did we just become best friends? <laughs> Toad's besties. <laughs> Kisses. You're too late to do anything. Wow. Yeah, this scene makes oh. me realize that a lot was cut out. Cortana. No. Zap. Bugs reactions priceless. <laughs> uh oh. You do. I didn't see it. <laughs> Is that the mission? Wow, that's that's the mission. Fun. What? So that was a little taste of Halo 5. Smaller taste than I remember, but I think with four players, it's a lot quicker. And that mission specifically, 
gives you just a bunch of vehicles and a bunch of a bunch of stuff to play with. So it does go quite a bit faster, probably, than if you're um, hoofing it. But um, yeah, let's see here. There was a lot to do. It went so fast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm trying to think here. We start. Okay, so let's talk start talk about the beginning part, right? So so obviously we're gonna talk about gameplay first, but that initial set piece when you're on the guardian itself is pretty cool. Like that's a big, um, just a big portion, and one of the reasons that this mission is a standout is because of that, you know, walk down the guardian, jump, and having fun and landing down on Genesis. Um, I guess you know that's more of a set piece storytelling, you know, element, but it's you know part of the gameplay as well. You jump around, you do have to shoot some stuff. Um, I'm gonna throw it over to mm, to to Matt to talk about just kind of gameplay of this mission specifically, and then we'll you know kind of riff off off you from there. I'd say with this and with Halo Five in general, the gameplay has always been what I consider some of the best, especially with like we were talking about Clamber. Um, I guess I'll say I had a a bit more of an appreciation for the revive mechanic as it pertains to having more people um yeah. when you're playing it with just the bots it really it really is just a drag uh so if you if you were playing halo 5 i guess the way that they intended you to play it or like very narrowly thought you were going to play it with like four feet four people fire team and you weren't going to do solo um it is a little bit different um so i'd say the we never wiped right so like it worked mm -hmm. correctly mm -hmm. right Whereas when you play right, solo exactly. a lot of times you wipe right like everybody exactly dies trying to save the one well character. and it it doesn't feel like it, it's more of a frustration point because you're just watching your bots walk into fire to revive you and yeah. then they're just dying so you just it's 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 very much it falls into the same trap that uh republic commandos fell into because it was basically the same mechanic um but I'd say overall, the gameplay, especially like I said about the revive mechanic, I'd say it's pretty solid for me. Uh, I do think I love the way you move in this game. I love that you move like a super soldier. Yeah. So I'd say it's pretty high for me. And probably for Halo 5 in general, it's it's its strongest point. David, what do you think about all the like all the toys you get in this mission specifically? You get a lot of toys. It's super fun. It's a... I still so shocked by how fast it was like i just don't remember right. being that quick but um yeah i suppose most of them are playing on solo but uh it's actually pretty fun there's plenty of weapons and even on co-op with four people playing there was buckets of stuff for us to have do you know what i mean right. we could each have something we each, it's not like we're all scrambling for the one power weapon on the map or whatever like so it's really good like that and it's it is taught out uh it's super fun obviously like playing halo 5 like you said at the beginning, like I think it might have been off recording, but like you're so OP as a Spartan, you're OP. Mm, yeah. And I, I personally love that feeling. I feel like you should yes. feel awesome as a Spartan. And this game yep. does that better than I think almost all the Halos of just how you feel. Um, right. So I think it's really good, man. It just all the weapons are brilliant. It has the answer, so it's automatically a ten, <laughs> out of 10 uh, mission. Like do you know what I mean? So that's and I, I do love that that they incorporated the special weapons into the campaign. Um. Cause that's just hella fun. Why shouldn't you like? What do you think, Krista? About the you mentioned it, the soldiers, right? Mm -hmm. And um, they, do they balance out your overpoweredness? Is that word. Um, how, you know how powerful you are as a Spartan now with all the abilities. Does the fact that they teleport around also? Do, I'm forgetting. Do they take away the knights teleporting? No, they can the still teleport. teleport. It's just not as annoying. Okay. Um, I think the armagers really balance out the Prometheans very well because it makes the knights feel more like a kind of boss rather than being like almost an elite. It's like, mm -hmm. I think it, I think it just makes their structure a little better, which means that as you're running around as a Spartan, you have something that's a, t a slightly more challenging, but it's really fun to fight against. And then you have something mm -hmm. that's kind of bigger and a bit more challenging and requires a little bit more strategy to kill. So I think it just gives a little bit more variety to the gameplay and how you um, go, how you enter combat and then how you deal with everything differently. And I like that. I like how the knights work very differently. I like how the armagers are very familiar. They, they're, they, they're very much like elites, like teleporty elites is kind of what I, sure. what I think of them as. But yeah, I think the armagers are really cool or soldiers. Um. <laughs> mm. 
They're also a real satisfying headshot kill. They so like, are. Yes. So that, that's a big thing for me. They, they make the Prometheans a bit more fun to play against because they're, like, the Crawlers are fun to play against, the Armagers are fun to fun to play against, and then the Knights are challenging, but it it's a good yep. mix. Like, in Halo 4, it's just, Having like... them all. Yeah, and watch, Watchers still suck. Yeah. Like yeah. Yeah. But uh, in Halo 4, it was, the like, the Crawlers they... were great, but then the Prometheans were, or the Knights Watchers. were just, like... Nice. Yeah. yeah. Annoying. Yeah, well, I also they, they like minimize they... the watchers so they're not as overpowering or as annoying. Yeah. I think there might be one mission in Halo Five where there's a ton of them, but uh, Halo Four there's a lot of them just all around because I think they needed that. They were trying to add that variety. Yeah. Just adding that additional soldier, I guess there's a couple different versions of it, just makes it so there's so much more variety. So. And, and you're not relying on the watchers to revive to give you more enemies to yep. fight. You know what I mean? They can actually just have mm. a bunch of soldiers right. scattered around the map as well. Well, I also think adding the Promethean like weak points mm -hmm. was actually a nice mm -hmm. touch it, yeah, it, it it changes how you attack and it also gives you an easier way to do it like you could you could shoot them and not hit those spots and it take longer or you could use them to your advantage because well, in halo 4 spots, they were just knock them off, and then they get yeah but when they get so you can knock off one of the things they get mad they open their face and then you can headshot them and they mm -hmm. go away right like yep. so they, mm -hmm. they can go away really quickly if you if you're accurate yep. Um, or exactly the bullets bomb, which you know, right? makes you a little more careful with your gameplay yeah which i think is good um so this mission i think all that should be considered i think the revive mechanic should be considered as you know we played we played four player and i think it worked, worked fine as it as intended even two player probably would have been as intended uh, but so mm. it is a struggle and it should <laughs> not oh my god it's the uh, worst halo part about halo five. yeah so mm. if it didn't have that you know i think we just need to kind of layer that in somewhere um but then there's just so many toys in this specific mission it's short so i guess we can talk about that on level on a level design standpoint but from a gameplay uh perspective i had a lot of fun like yeah just, yeah it's hard to yeah. beat this mission in gameplay so um i want to start us at a nine how do you guys feel about that i could go Maybe. nine i i just i really i've always really really liked halo 5's gameplay just in general i think it's super smooth i think it's really yeah. fun I think you feel like a Spartan should feel when you're running around and doing things. So, I mean, right. I, I can definitely... I, I would definitely say that. I would say that for, like, every Halo 5 mission, except for the missions that have no gameplay. Yeah. <laughs> well, like, we gotta factor in the War and Eternals, too. Obviously, I think a lot of people... Yeah. And I, in my opinion, I think they give uh, too much flack for... I mean, I, I don't like fighting the Warden as much as we do in the whole game. Uh, but it's not something that I detract gameplay from. Right, but so here I'm, it was I'm good. comfortable. Those yeah, yeah, for good, right? Like yeah. I'm comfortable with a well, nine with that. Yeah, well, we had four players, and we all walked in with power weapons. I mean, we had two four answers and some rocket launchers. I mean, you guys are rocking. I mean, like we, we didn't walk yep. in there when they were in the pistol trying to fight the boss. Right. You know what I mean? So <laughs> we also haven't been well, like sitting kind of here. We haven't been sitting here playing the game, right? When you're playing the campaign and all the missions chronologically, by now the warden's getting kind of dull, right? Because you fought him a couple times. But us just popping into this mission and playing, he's he's a he's yeah. pretty fun to play against. But they used him too much. But just looking at this mission, I mean, the yeah. two Warden Eternals yeah. is fun. It's interesting. Yeah. It was a challenge. I think, I think, Three. Yeah. There was the Game... first one, and then there's two. The two at the same time. Yeah. I think gameplay was greatly increased because there were four four players. Oh yeah. yeah. For sure. Yeah. yeah. I think on on all fronts. The only other thing I just want to touch on, this is just a Halo 5 general comment, is the Warden wouldn't have been so bad if he changed up his gameplay, and I think mm -hmm. I mentioned this in the mission debriefs. Um, if his, if mm. his um, battle tactics changed, or if somehow maybe he combined or did something else. Or like um, there were variants, the like every bad. single time he splits, there's like one that might be a ranger with a gun, and then one with the sword, and then one with like yeah. whatever. Mm. Yeah, maybe they changed color, or something like that. Like they could, could have done something else with those fights to make them feel fresh. Um, right. But anyway, so for this mission specifically, anybody? So it sounds like nine's all right. David, you good with nine? Yeah. Surprising, but yeah, I I, I know why. Like nine. All right. Not niner. Niner, it is. Um. Hmm. Now let's do some level design discussion. <laughs> I'm gonna throw it over to David this time. Oh my god. David, talk about this level. Um, it's a pretty smooth and relatively simple level design. Uh, it is a corridor. 
there is no real wide open areas, even despite the fact that there's vehicles. There's areas to explore, like so you can go off the, to the sides and like yeah. go find some stuff. But for the most part, there's not really much combat off to the side. All yeah. the combat is in. The uh, I will say I love the environment. I do love the Genesis environment. is is cool to see. Like it feels like an alien planet. Like not like anything. I mean, Halo Five is great. Felt like all the planets are so distinct and different, mm -hmm. and it has a great feel for it. So I think it is very simple for what it is. I mean, it is yep. just a corridor. I don't know if I'd rate it highly. I would say it's like super well designed. But again, the design, I'm also going to have to incorporate how they've laid out the weapons for the boss fight, which is really good. And how they've spattered out like, the vehicles in different places. So it's fun. It's a power trip. Like, this mission is just yeah. a power trip. It's just a team of Spartans yeah. rolling through, two factions fighting, just weapons flying everywhere. So... From that perspective, I, I like it a lot. I don't know where I start to score. Maybe a seven, maybe an eight. Like so Halo, I think we've, we've touched on it already, but Halo 4, I think, was, was designed to be played with four players, right? Mm -hmm. And so I think a knock against this one is because it is so short. Other missions are longer, and maybe because there's point like more storytelling points along the way where you have to stop. But this one's you pretty much cruise through the entire way. Um, mm. But I, what was the running time on what we played? It was like... I mean, minutes. with the intro, we were at like 22 minutes when we finished the mission. So it was maybe a 15, min 15, 20 minutes. If that, yeah. yeah. So it's it, a, it was, it's a 17 wow. minute prayer time, so... It was quick, yeah. And yeah. there's a lot of missions in Halo 5 and whatnot. So I think, I feel like the length should be a little bit of a knock. It felt too short, mm -hmm. right? Like, it, there wasn't quite enough, especially for a four-player specific designed game mm. and mission. Um, I, but, but I, yeah, I, the environments are great and all that other stuff. Also, sorry, I have to. I'm knocking it up to an eight because the intro is so yeah. cool. Yeah, it is. Cool. Running, yeah. running down. A yeah. Guardian. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Wait, what the, the verticality that this mission lends to, whether it's running down a guardian or you're kind of climbing up on all these rocks, and of course that plays into the gameplay. The level design was designed to incorporate spartan clamber and the spartan gameplay that you have so i like that how they kind of tie together um there is better better I, verticality in other missions so yeah. i do agree i like it, verticality in halo 5 in general this one's fine but other right. missions have have more like same sort of saying helios has lots of verticality yeah well yeah, yeah exactly but well yeah swords of saying helios which is weird that it didn't beat this one um but I do like the design of Genesis. I think as like a forerunner world where we learn that I guess everything's artificial there too. Um, it is really cool to think about. It's kind of like Requiem, but just different in a way that I think it sets it apart so you don't feel like you're on the same place. Whereas uh, I feel like it, you could have gotten into a tight spot where you felt like you were back on Requiem. Uh, so I do like I do like the Genesis. I think in my opinion, this and the Sunion missions are like hmm. visually my favorite aesthetic of Halo. So I, I do like the the colors yeah. and all the stuff like that, um, and Forerunner structures and stuff like that. I prefer it over the uh, Meridian, like where I feel like it's just kind of drab and gray. Uh, this seems that's very what it's vibrant. To be, but yeah, but that, yeah. That, that's kind no, of what I like about Meridian because like of what I mean, we're getting way off track here, but what it actually is in terms of like. It's a glass planet that you're like yeah. farming the glass out of me. That's dope. Right. I like that. But just like on like, ooh, this looks cool. Sure. Mm. I like, okay, you know, okay. Genesis looks, you know, like, you know, I'd rather vacation in Genesis than a movie. <laughs> well, I think anyone you would say that. Yeah, you don't <laughs> like, you know, playing on the glassified bodies of an entire planet's population. Yeah. Uh, nah. That's weird. You're weird. <laughs> Unless it was Reach, I'd go dig up some Spartan I mean, bodies. I want to spend a whole mission there just walking around, talking to people, you know what I mean? That's what uh, I, mean. I love missions where you walk around and talk to people. Yeah. I hate shooting. I think it's just so violent. I just want to talk to people. Guys, we're, a, we're a lore podcast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Talking. Chris, to bring us home on uh, level design here. I think it's really good. I think it's super short, which was isn't the best. I kind of know story-wise why they did it, because they want to be like, it's like reading a book where you have like a chapter from one perspective and then a chapter from another perspective and all the chapters are really short, but you're slowly progressing the story. That's what they were going for. But 
when it comes to like actually sitting down with your friends and playing, I don't think it's conducive to a good play session with your buddies. Unless you're going to sit mm. down and play like a bunch of missions back to back to back. But right. when it comes to best missions, I feel like a good mission is a mission that you can be like, hey guys, we're going to roll up in the covenant and we're going to be doing this for like, you know, 20, 30 minutes together. And, you yeah. know, or yeah. even more like 45 minutes. I mean, the covenant yeah. took us like I an felt, hour. We felt, we felt like we were rolling, but yeah. we just weren't rolling long enough. Yeah, it, well, it yeah. just kind of, our momentum was just completely stopped at the end. I, I think we're definitely in yeah. the 7-8 range, though. Okay. David, you threw out a, an 8. Uh, I think 7-8, yeah. yeah. I'm good with an 8. Yeah. It's just such a different mission when you're playing it solo, because it is longer, there's more to it, it's more difficult. Um, well, like, if I added a knock to, to gameplay, it would be that... Well, this is level it's design. like, yeah, yeah. I mean, sorry, level design. It would be like, you can go around and, like, the the path is very linear if you really look at it, and there's like little places where you can like, move off to the sides and look at stuff, or maybe you can like move go around a rock, but it just brings you that back to that main path. So, it would have been nice if there were multiple ways to get to the end, or multiple paths that you could have taken instead of just like one path with a couple of little side detours that brought you back to the main path sure there's way better missions in hell of five that do that that yeah. actually have nooks and crannies that have tunnels that have weapons and secrets in them and breakable walls this mission has none of that so like yeah sunaya uh not sunaya yeah, but like yeah. the, the you can kind of sprint after you get through that first wall i mean you could i know there's a lot of encounters along the way but you could sprint to the end but you still have to fight the warden still a stopping you can say that but it, almost half of the halo halo missions if you just run through them i mean yeah you, you do that a lot on it yeah, so. all right so seven or eight i i don't know if i can give this one an eight because there are better de designed missions okay. in halo five. i can do a seven i think seven is fair so i'm feeling more like a seven on this one okay I'll, it is I'll beautiful all you know most halo missions are beautiful um I feel like we're I giving this mission are... a couple of extra bonus points because it's the only Halo 5 mission. So yeah, we're almost probably. Ready all of Halo 5 yeah. in this mission. Mm. Yeah, exactly. So let's go look 7 because I think we do need to compare it to Halo 5. Like they're yeah. you know, level design. You know, okay, within the Halo 5, yeah. Yeah, more or less. Okay, let's go challenge now. Challenge felt pretty smooth. Uh, too smooth? Uh, there were four of us. Question. No, yeah, I mean, yeah. we were. But dying. it was designed for four players, right? Like, like you gotta imagine. Yeah, you see, this that, is the this, experience people they wanted to give people. The, yeah, but this is the this is where I think the hugest knock against Halo Five was done is because they play they designed the game to be played in a way and they had no uh, forethought about how people actually play. Some people just do two players. Some people just play by themselves. You know what I mean? So to strap you into a system that was built around four people was just broken especially if they gave you didn't have split screen right so you're already yeah. taking away uh, a mechanic that allows people to play together and then adding a, uh, a mechanic that requires you to play together and so this is where i'd say with challenge it's not hard it's just frustrating the bad and i think AI that's, comes into yeah. play here and, and yeah. knocks it knocks it down so and I, so that's I'm where like, like it's it's not hard but it's just it's just frustrating the other, you have to be really patient. Yeah, the other yeah. thing about Halo 5 that's kind of a bit of a pet peeve for me is I feel like they, like, as much as we talk about our characters being very powerful and with the movement and stuff, I feel like our health has been nerfed because we have the revive yeah. system. Yeah. And I find yep, that I really agree. annoying. I feel like I can't take... This was heroic, but I, could, I know I could have taken more hits than that if it was in, like, a Halo 4 environment or a Halo 3 environment. Oh, 100%. Well, so, because, again, it's built on that scaling? mechanic. I don't think it was the scaling. That, that I think it's place? all of Halo, Halo 5. Yeah, Halo 5, your your shields and your health just are not as boosted, and I think it is because they want that to you to use that revive mechanic. Right, it's it's entirely built on that mechanic. That's and the it's problem. Bad. And then the AI sucks. The mm -hmm. revive, it's, I would rather be alive, I would rather have more health than have to rely on, even when we're playing as friends, I'd rather 
be able to play more than sit there and ask for yeah. revives. It's just kind of an annoying the, system. The revive mechanic is okay in general. Like, it works in Gears of War and other games. Yeah, but it does. But in Halo 5, it just doesn't work very well. So, they, so, they, so I'm not saying, like, revive doesn't belong in Halo 5, or in Halo. It's just this version of it is... It just needs to be more finesse. This is their first attempt. I think it needs more more work. Well, because yeah. they didn't they didn't change anything. It's basically the Republic Commando version. Like they didn't they didn't play that game and see all the frustrating points of that, and yeah. even attempt to make it different. It was like copy well, paste. Well, funny enough, the they, guys... they, they brought a guy over from right, the and that's my Commando. yeah. And okay. I I I think a lot of my frustration points with the revive mechanic was that I played Republic Commandos. And that just kind of soured me on the whole thing because it was the same problem. And of course, in my opinion, Republic Commandos is much harder than Halo. So you're at this point where you're taking a broken mechanic, adding it to a, a game, and not even even polishing it up or it uh, yeah, or, or you know, it just. And the, I think it rises and falls that this whole Halo Five is built on this idea that you are playing with four people all or at least more people than yourself all the yeah. time on the team yeah. i i yeah. feel like that's and, so unrealistic because i think a lot of us have said oh we've never played halo 5 with four people and the game has been out for six years i mean this will be my first time yeah i mean yeah. just just getting four people together to play a game Unless you have, like, a really, really regular group, which you might have when you're, like, in high school or something like that, would be realistic. Or if you're in a dorm in college. I don't still play video games together for <laughs> But it's just, like, I don't know. Well, I'm especially not if sure. you don't have the split-screen mechanic, too, right? Like, so there's the that's chance hard, that you have yeah. a couple other people over, but you you can't play Halo 4 right, or exactly. together the way so that means you need four, four consoles, boxes. which is completely yeah. unrealistic if you're thinking about high school kids or college kids. Then you grow up, and then you're like, I don't have fucking time to get four people together to play a game <laughs> consistently. So, like, from my perspective, my brother and I have played through all the Halos together, but he has never played Halo Five by himself. He's cool. just never. Because he wants to play Never with you. done it. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Exactly. So he's never he's never sat down and picked up the controller and just played himself because for him, the experience of playing with somebody else is funner. Having said that, I do like that they did incorporate and build an entire game world being on a team of Spartans, which is exactly in the lore where a lot of them right. play in. Now, obviously, there's loads of lone wolf shit. Obviously, John goes off on his own for the whole thing. That's grand. But I love the idea that they did think, here's a team of four, here's a team of four. Yeah. We're building well, it gave us blue team. Yeah, I love it. Yeah, I love that so much. That I, I like that they did it and that they tried it. It's yeah. just so Do... cool why it didn't come true. Do you think yeah. that this game would have benefited from campaign campaign matchmaking like like Halo Reach had? Yeah, for sure. Oh, yeah. I, I feel 100%. like they built this 100%. game around playing with four people, but then didn't give us the infrastructure in order to do that. Yep. They didn't give us, Pretty you know, sure matchmaking. They didn't give us Randos. split screen. I mean, but they're like, oh, you should play with four people. It's like, hello, <laughs> give us yeah, opportunities exactly. to play with four people. Mm. You could have made a lot of good friends that way. You could have. Yeah. Oh, and you could have made a lot of enemies, too, because, you know, it's well, that, matchmaking. That's true. That's true. <laughs> but I'm it's not going to revive you, sucker. Blues are uh, they just, so like, teabag you. But I mean... <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, let's talk about a score. Uh, okay, challenge okay. six or five? Six? I was going to... Five's, five's uh, probably I, too I'd low. Go five. Five? I'd say if we went five, we're just shitting on it because it's Halo 5, and we don't like the mechanic, as opposed to it actually being a bad... But we rolled through this. Mission. We did. It's you know, like, difficult and we had fun. when you're playing by yourself, but it's mostly because of that yeah. revive mechanic. Yeah, the, the mission is way different by yourself, so I would. Uh, that's why I put a solo, and obviously the revive mechanic. Okay, so five or six. We haven't given a five out yet. I would say six. So it's anything. not that bad. Gosh. Six. Okay, I'll go six. I'll go six. Uh, like I know there's six. I know there's some I know there's some like weird stuff with Halo Halo Five with a revive mechanic and stuff like that, but I mean. If you play this legendary solo, it's gonna kick your butt. Mm -hmm. You're not gonna roll well, through it. It's just it. like, it's just so painful when you're down and you're watching I know, all of these super is. soldiers run over to you and just like, yeah, it's just like why? <laughs> but or they they're, they're like right there. You're like you're right there. Yeah. It's like shoot right, the let's bad move on. guy let's first. Move on. Okay, 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 okay. Six. Okay, storytelling. Lock it in. Lock it in. Challenge six. So storytelling now. Um. 
so beginning like back to the beginning right so we have the mm -hmm. cool set piece with the the guardian coming through and running down and all that meeting a super witness i think is cool there is a lot of uh data pads and um um uh collectibles mm -hmm. that right. add to the story um the warden eternal is talking to you a bit throughout cortana talks to you at the end so there Exuberant. is some decent storytelling in here not Krista, really do you want to talk us yeah, talk to us about story I'll talk to it. I, I I feel like this is a mission where everything has happened before and after this mission, and this mission's just carrying you to the next story point, but doesn't really have much to iterate on the story itself. That's exactly what I think about it, yeah. So, like, the big thing happened well, right before this when you get on the Guardian, and then the big yeah. thing's gonna happen right after this when Cortana tries to steal Chief and is trying to convince him to be on her side. But this mission is literally just setting up the next... The, this mission's closing out the last big story point and then setting up the next big story point. Yep. Now, it, set, it has, like, a couple set pieces that it starts to set up for the next story point, like Exuberant Witness and Genesis. And, you know, the Warden Eternal's mm. talking, Cortana's talking. But it doesn't really... It doesn't have a story to tell in itself. It's just, like, here's gonna be the next relevant thing for the next story thing we're about to do. And that's you're where just we're going. Blue team. Yeah. That's it. You're, just, you, you're on Genesis. You don't know anything about where you are, what you're doing, but you're just here to chase. So you get here. And we've and already been to... on, sorry, we've already been on Genesis as Blue Team. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So we've already been there, but now we, we're coming yeah. there as Fire Team. Okay. Uh, okay. Any uh, thoughts, Matt? Yeah. I think uh, I'm kind of more with David on this one. I think the story elements are. Well, because like I think I think like the the end where you have Osiris team bump into Blue team, and it really is just we're friends now. And I don't think that that was set up or in any way I felt like paid off because like the last time they saw each other, Chief they were this dude. punching each other. Yeah. Yeah. But 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 like it doesn't even it doesn't like it just feels so. Forced? Un forced. It feels forced. Like, oh, we have to make them friends again in order for this to work. And I think that I think that has it's it's a huge problem. And you can throw it at any franchise where they've had two heroes or good guys fighting against each other, and then at the end they're like, Well, shoot, we can't leave it off with them fighting each other, right? So like at the end, you're stuck with Locke. Uh, coming up to Chief and being like, "Oh, sorry, like, what does Ch is Locke admitting that he was wrong? Where did he learn? Yeah, that, like, where did he think that he was wrong? Still, like, at what point did Chief's actions change Locke's mind? But the, like, did that? Did anything in the game change Locke's previous motives? Nothing. So, it, and for me, it just well, kind of feels forced. And that's when that's the and that's this is my overall yeah. critique of halo 5 is that the story is chopped up and then smushed together so you're missing something context revelations along the way yeah right or just development on anybody they they, they had to they obviously had to cut a lot of stuff in this game um mm -hmm. i don't think it's as obvious as halo 2 because halo 2 had the exact same problem but halo 2 turned out to be a pretty cohesive story um Mm. I think a lot of points in Halo 5 or a lot of nuances in Halo 5 are lost because of the development issues that they had. But uh, like you said, the story in the mission, though, I know there's a lot of data packs. I don't remember a whole lot of them. And I, and I yeah. don't even think Exuberant Witness or Warden and Turtle say or do any kind of interesting interactions throughout the mission that I remember. I know she gives you a tank, and that's awesome. But the fact that, that she exists, remember. she talks about the previous humans, which is Blue yeah. Team, and she's she, she's there. So I think just the fact that she exists is an interesting story point. All but the yeah, good story I, points come from her talking, though. Nothing yeah. else. It's just her. Like it's just when she talks about like how moving Blue Team closer to uh, Cortana would push the warden past all restraint. That's cool. But like Chris has said, it's just Not setting up out, though. the next mission. Yeah. Right, but like, it's like it, they never tell you that. Well, why is he losing all restraint? They never really go into the relationship between the Warden Eternal and Cortana and why that matters and why he cares so much. You have to read the comic for that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We'll see. Yeah, now, true. remember, remember when I I defended Halo Four in the last mission that you didn't need the books to understand what's going on here. 
you need something because Cortana's back and she's taken over and you're like, how? Why is the warden serving her? Why yeah. is this happening? And then why is the warden protecting her? Why, and what, you know, like, who's the boss here? And you have no context or anything like that to the, the entire yeah. thing yeah. about it. Just and the, and so really weird. the only context, the only context that 343 gave us for that specifically was the comic. It's yeah. Really and it's like, it's books, like a five page comic. Yeah. In the books. yeah. Cortana's mentioned in a lot of the books. And they could have, they the could have done story. They could have done some kind of cutscene with Cortana recapping that comic in like two minutes. Cortana's like, Chief's mm. like, oh, what happened to you? Cortana comes out and is like, I was floating, I, I was losing consciousness, and then all of a sudden I was at the gate of the domain, and this presence was talking to me, and blah, 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 I outsmarted him, and yeah. yada, yada, yada. I mean, that would be a really quick cutscene, but it would set up the relationship or, with Warden, what's going on yeah. with Cortana, what her perspective is, and you'd mm. understand what was going on instead of Cortana being like, hi, I'm here, I'm evil now, and you're like... What? That would have been the perfect time for Cortana <laughs> to take over the screen, like in Halo Three, and show you something. Yeah. Instead of like, like that would have been the perfect time to like. It's a mechanic I don't like, but I think it would have been nice if you had cut to something, that like Cortana showing Chief something or or explaining yeah. something. It'd be I don't a cool know. librarian moment where nobody takes John away at the in Halo Four. Sure. I'm just oh, like, that would have been nice. Shit. Like that would have been cool. Could have had a cool quick. Anyway, Colin. Give me a score. Are we at a six? Ooh, yeah. I was, I, I was feeling that. I was feeling that. It's pretty low. It's pretty low. It's not a great story in this mission. No. As, I, a, I as a self-contained thing. As a self-contained thing, and then as another block in the, in my opinion, in my opinion, Halo Five is the weakest part of the thing is the story, and so yeah. it's a it's a it's a weak it's a weak story link in an overall weak story as a whole. So the hole's pretty weak. The sum is pretty weak in this point. So, yeah. Well, but it's Halo. I mean, so is it a, is is it a, yeah, I was gonna say, is it a five then, or lower? Or? No, it, it's by all, it's by no means a five. I don't. I, I. It for for as much as I like, dog on Halo Five, I'd play it over. A bevy of games because it's for yeah. me it's something more, and maybe that's just Halo it's nostalgia. Still a great still a great it's still yeah. Yeah, oh yeah. And the I gameplay, have my frustration I think points. Kristen mentioned, gameplay is top notch. Like it's so much fun, yeah. fun to play, you know, outside of the mechanic, the five mechanic, but yeah. Okay, let's go 6. Yeah. Six, I mean seeing heads nod. Okay. All right. <laughs> so let's go 6 on storytelling. We have uh so let's recap this and then I do want to have a brief conversation about the other missions, but we'll we'll give you the final score here. Uh gameplay is 9, level design 7, challenge 6, and storytelling 6. Oof. It's gonna, we all yeah. we all knew Halo Five was gonna be at the bottom of the list. Yeah. So final score is a seven Ooh. for Genesis. That's the lowest one. <laughs> I think that's, is that our lowest I, one? We gave one other seven. I think it was uh, yeah a diff, uh, ODST mission we gave seven Hello. as well. Well, uh, okay. Do it. Lock it in. That's my last. Yeah, Maybe it's cool. legit. I mean, it's legit. Obviously, we had the conversation. Okay, so let's talk about the other other missions in Halo Five. So I've I've been messing around with some of the other missions just to give me some context on this mission. I played this mission a couple of days ago. I was like, this mission's all right, but then because um, I think we were questioning like, why did Genesis make this list? And, you know, we have the votes tallied, and it, it won yeah, by we're a couple still of votes over the others from our community. But there are other missions. So like Blue Team, let's talk about Blue Team, right? So that Blue Team specifically is a lot. There's a so great introduction to Chief and you know in his team right, which we been wanting to play as for forever. But then the the mission starts out as really a, a tutorial. It's still a tutorial mission, and it takes a little while to ramp up. One of the best parts of that mission, one of the most interesting parts of that mission, I think, is kind of crawling around in Argent Moon, like when it's mm -hmm. all dark, right? And you have all those encounters um, with uh, the grunts and whatnot. Mm -hmm. um, and then you see like the hunter kind of forming and there's the, like those those fights aren't that interesting but the the level design is a lot more interesting well, i mean you're on argent I moon mm -hmm. it's so cool yeah. yeah and there's a lot of verticality in that mission they have the banshee fight in the middle which is okay i, I think there's other banshee um fights better banshee fights in halo but it's you know it has that um that mission is pretty long too so there's, mm -hmm. there's a lot to that mission um I don't know. Any other thoughts on, on Blue Team or anything else I, we should highlight? I'd say it falls into the same critiques that this one fell into. Gameplay is pretty good. 
Level design is pretty dope. Uh, challenge. The story's good. Same frustration. I want to say the story's really good in that mission. Uh, no? The Arjun mood itself mm. has a great story. Uh, yeah, the intro, blue team good coming in, on. is pretty fucking dope. And then, okay, it is a generic. You have yeah, it, that's so true. I'm blowing it up so you can't have it. Yeah. That is so, true. Well, the, the only thing I'd say is that it's a great self contained mission. Yeah. But it's as a. Intro as to a, the game. It's a it but that's what it is. The whole mechanics. level is just an intro, right? It's just like, meanwhile, blue team. Yeah, which is but good. Attention, attention. I mean, I guess game. it does have that. It does have that really nice Cortana cutscene, where she's talking to him about Meridian and mm -hmm. the Guardians. So that's cool. Um, I definitely say this. I mean, I'd say the story is much better in Blue Team than it is in uh, Genesis. But I think uh, for yeah. me, it just kind of feels like that. Like that intro scene in the movie that you see the superhero take out the vil like the B villain, so that then the then the story begins. Yeah. Yeah. And it's just you know. But it's narrative. Yeah. But it's it's like nice. Said, it's, it's 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 still self-contained in and of itself, which is why I like it. So like, when I play it, it doesn't really. It feels like, I guess the best way I could say about Blue Team is it feels like a a mission that Blue Team has done hundreds of times, right? Like it feels like a. That's what's uh, so good about like, it, and the yeah, intro that's... just sets up the team of like just how, yeah. look how smooth that was to how they infiltrated that shit. Like, and it... it just feels like generic blue team mission, you know, like not like in a bad way, but like this is this is something akin to what they've done their whole lives. Yeah, it's good. It's really good. Uh, Matt, you like reunion? Why don't you talk about that? A little yes, bit? I I think it's it, I like I like the blue team mission, but I as like a team with blue team, I'd say reunion's probably my favorite in Halo Five, just because it has blue team. You're on the Forerunner world. I like the Phaetons. Um, I think the gameplay of going through those weird kind of shell things is actually kind of cool. Um, I think it does a really good job of setting up uh, mystery, whereas it, at the time when you're playing it, you still don't know what's really happening. There's a lot of things being said about Cortana, not a lot, so you don't really know. Um, first time playing it, um, and then I think it's nice has a not you know, bunch of nice little callbacks with the little tune, the Ollie Ollie Oxen Free mm -hmm. uh, yeah. thing. Like, so I, uh, for me, I think it it it's at that point in the game where the story hasn't, <laughs> and the and uh, it has a lot of little callbacks to stuff that if and i think this is the the best thing about it is that like if you know you know like you if you know that little tune you're like oh but if you don't you're like oh okay it's just another little yeah electronic sound so like i and think that's the best way it. to use the extended the context yeah. yeah but exactly but and, and so like it's, it's something that just passes you by so i like that mission the best uh it's it's i think the only vehicles you have are the phaetons yeah. If I'm not mistaken. Any other thoughts on but... Reunion from David or uh, Krista? Just curious. Uh, I'm trying to remember. It's the Halo 5 missions, a lot of them blur in, in my in my brain. You just Their yeah. names just don't sound, stand out as much. But It's um, kind of, it's yeah. the one where Cortana's just kind of guiding you mission. around. Yeah. It's it's good uh, though. I like it a lot. I think it is a good remember, blue team mission. Yeah. I remember the first time playing it being like super excited. Like, where am I going? Yeah. What am I yeah. doing? What's happening? Um, the fate on sequence is really dope. Um, I love it. I really like. It. I like the fact that how it brings you in is is really cool. Mm -hmm. So I like it. Good callbacks to the didact in it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I just played the Phaeton uh, sequence again, and you can actually zoom through it really quickly. <laughs> yeah. um, again, that's you know a Halo thing sometimes, but uh, it is it is cool when you're trying to figure that out and going through the caverns and whatnot. And, and that's the first time you get a fly. And you can see, cool. and you can take it by foot too, which is yeah. nice. You, can. You know, they gave you an alternative way to do it, which I think is nice. And a cheap old. Yeah. Mm -hmm. two, so I think two other that are worth mentioning are Swords of Saint Helios and Battle yeah. Ion. Yeah, they're uh, both really I'm solid. Just, I'm going to say right now, Guardians, the last mission, I feel like is a terrible no. last no. mission in Halo. <laughs> um, it's just, I don't even want to talk about it, so let's not talk about it. But uh, I think Swords of Saint Helios and Battle Ion do... Um, are worth mentioning. So, um, does anybody? I don't know, David. Do you have any perspective on on either of those? Absolutely loved it. I mean, go, going to the Elite Homeworld was so exciting. It was so beautiful. I was just blown away by like the architecture. How old it felt. The architecture, this ancient civilizations. 
Like, you were just steeped in the character of this species, and it felt amazing um, to see their city just be like, to get the impression of seeing the Arbiter in motion. He was awesome. He's got this crazy fucking gold armor. It's like, is it gold? Is it not gold? <laughs> Maybe it's gold. I don't know. It's so good. Like, I mean, it's, it's such a good story. I mean, it was even interesting with, like, playing as Locke, of, like, getting here, of, like, okay, you're trying to get to the Arbiter. You're fighting your way through. And then you're like, okay, we need your help, but we have to do this thing first. Um, they they play they're back to back missions, aren't they? They're one. After they they have one no, of those like stupid apart. mission. Oh, there's a no, there's, there's a, a couple. Oh, Is really? There? Oh yeah, okay. Yeah, I, but there's like, a couple different because you uh, after Sierra the Sick Helios, you got to there's enemy lines. Oh where yeah, you get that little helper drone thing. Mm -hmm. so oh yes. And then, so there's essentially two of the walking around missions in between Swords of Sick Helios. Oh, Sunion, Covenant Homeworld. But it's beautiful. Segment it. and Halo yeah. is beautiful. But like I, I actually enjoyed the walking around bits there because it felt like you're coming into the middle of a war to like an a leader who's this is his camp. He's getting ready. He's setting up and like you're mm. walking around. Like it felt like this, we've seen those in so many other games, but it felt good. I liked it. It felt mm -hmm. like that mission should be there. Interacting with these characters, having casual conversations um, was pretty cool. I liked the idiot to and just have a chat with Halsey. Like that's cool. I liked that a lot. Um, mm -hmm. And what else? Sorry. They they're chained well together. I, I love Sinaion. I've talked a lot now, but it, uh, I love it. I love those missions. They're one of my mm. favorite memories, especially of like non-blue team missions. Uh, I love that. Whole yeah. Thing. It was pretty. It was dope. Chris, any other thoughts on these? Uh, I love them. I think Sunion in particular is really interesting because you are going through like a Covenant city, and so you see like grunts like praying, and you. You see a lot of interesting things in that one, and there's a lot of little mm. Easter eggs and a lot, a lot of fun little things you can discover in Sunion in particular. And then, of course, like, mm. Swords of Sanghelios is our first time on the Sanghely homeworld, which is always a... was shocking when I first played Halo 5. Very shocking. So, mm -hmm. I think they're both really solid, and they're both really fun. So, there you go. Cool. And they're covenant-based yeah, ones. They, they do have a lot to offer, yeah. So it'll be interesting, you know, so this is the last mission that we're, we're that's on our list, and I don't know, we can't add these in because they weren't voted in, but I don't know if they would have been that much higher on the list um, against all of the other missions that we're going to talk about. So I think they would have come up higher than the seven, personally. I, I think yeah. there there is a, there's a mission, I don't know off the top of my head which one, but there's definitely an eight, maybe even a nine mission in Halo 5, mm -hmm. maybe. Yeah. Really? How, how, how... If you feel strong on it. But like, How did this mission beat out Swords of St. Helios? I just, like... It's the community, man. Good question. Those, was, yeah, our community voted on it, you know? I gave that Those crazy SOBs. I, I went and made a big long list. <laughs> they just um, wanted us to I play. I let them just vote on it. Facebook and our uh, our Discord, and they they voted for the ones that they wanted to make. To, to so make I, I'm going to challenge the community to add in Guardian so that we can have <laughs> Colin play... Oh. Halo 5 Guardians <laughs> Unleashed. <laughs> you nervous laughter. Right. Okay, good shit. Yeah, we'll, he we'll... has to play it by himself and all three of us. Yeah. <laughs> we'll just watch. Yeah, we'll watch him this time. Uh -oh. oh, wait. Here comes your guy to get revived you. Oh, yeah, he's uh -oh. down. Oh, too yeah. bad. Too bad. You'll have to start over. Terrible. Oh, boy. That, that's the triple warden fight, too, right? Yeah. Or is that yeah. breaking? That's uh, the breaking. Oh, okay. The breaking's the triple warden fight. Okay. Yeah, I... I think both of the last two missions are kind of eh, yeah for me. Yeah, ends on a down note. Oh, it's yeah. trying to wrap up yeah. the story way too fast. Right. Well, I so I, I'll say this again. I think a Halo Five in a whole, I think it suffers from the exact things that we knocked this mission that we just played. Um, I think gameplay is always great, except for the revive mechanic. You know, I think it, it follows this. In my opinion, it follows the same patterns. Like story for me. Any point in Halo 5 is always lower. There are points where it gets up and down, but like it's just, it's, I think the, because the overall story just kind of pulls it down. Whereas like now I don't really kind of focus on the individual parts. Yeah. So I think Halo 5 for me is just kind of just like this. Pulls, gets pulled down a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. So we'll, so yeah, I think that was, that's a good discussion to have. I at least wanted to have that. Um, We'll we'll hash the rest out. Oh, what I was gonna say is I don't. I think everything else in the list. I think this is the only questionable one that we have. I think everything else in the list is great. Like it fits and it, it feels like like, a, like a, it belongs in this top twenty. Genesis is just kind of the one question mark. It'll probably be at the bottom of our list. But I don't know if any of the other Halo f five missions 
will be high enough. Maybe one or two um, to make it higher, like even in the top I, ten. I don't, I don't know. Did Halo Five make it on here by default? Well, we wanted one Halo Five <laughs> right. mission. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, exactly. I, I, I would think I think there's more. There's better. But the missions. gameplay, like Halo yeah. Five gameplay, we love. It's just a lot of the other things that that break down. Yeah, so. yeah. And yeah. the art design, and it's a beautiful looking game. You know, it, I, I, it deserves you know, to be. I, I don't like being super negative about Halo 5 because I do love it. Like, it's not a game that I, I don't, I don't, it's like, it's, it's probably, it's the, one of the lowest on the list for me, but it's, it's still Halo. And so yeah. I still love it. But like the moment, the, the, the frustrating points are frustrating. And, but like, I don't like, I don't know. I guess I am being a little super negative on this episode yeah. Yeah. for All the right, 2020. Right. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that'll do it. That'll do it. For our 2020 coverage of Genesis from Halo 5 on the next episode, we'll be discussing everything we've played, the full list. And yeah, we're there. We finally made it. We're excited. That's going to be a really fun fun conversation. So stick with us for that. Uh, Don't forget to post a comment, like, or subscribe. You can also support the show by visiting Podcast Evolved on Patreon. Until next time, Evolved. 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 Podcast Evolved, your home for Halo.